It is cooking with Ajna again. He's very tall. It's hard to get him in this frame is what we're learning. Uh, anyways, I know that it's been a long, hard couple of weeks and we have several more weeks ahead of us and we hope to make it a little more light with you doing Cooking with Ajna. I'm Brenda Siegel, a candidate for Lieutenant Governor, and this is my son Ajna, a senior in high school, now at school, uh, Siegel Homeschool, and <laughs> you didn't like a joke? And uh, he is gonna make breakfast galore for you. Uh, so uh, enjoy. We're gonna put some links up as we go. Make sure to click on them at, and uh, and be part of what we're doing from now on. Here we go. Here's Ajna. All right. So the first step is to uh, wash your hands. Yes. So we're gonna both do that really clearly because we do this for twenty seconds now. Okay, now it's my turn. Yeah, I'll go get some. We just realized we did not bring any good towel up, so. I don't know about you guys, but my hands hurt. Not as much as they did when we were out all the time, because that was a lot of hand washing, but um, we're still washing them quite a lot. And definitely if you're cooking, especially if you're gonna cook and like donated or anything, you need to take all of the safety precautions. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're gonna start by prepping the stuff for the French toast. So if you haven't read what Ajna's breakfast galore is, basically what I do is I take French toast and on top of it, I put over easy eggs, and then I put some potatoes, like some home fries. And then we do some maple syrup, a little bit of Tabasco sauce. It's perfect. It's a good mix of flavors and proteins. Really good for you. Tastes really good. So we're going to start by prepping the French toast. So here we go. So when you prep the French toast, yeah, what you're going to do is I'm going to take these, uh, these three eggs. Are you going to play the game? Crack it. No. I'm gonna crack I keep him trying to get him to play the game on camera and he won't. I'm gonna crack him into the bowl. Like that. Got a little piece of shell in that one. It happens every week, huh? Well, it's only been two weeks, so. <laughs> Alright. So there we go. I'm gonna go throw that out. All right, this is his ingredients. There is a lot there. Also, the lighter fluid is not part of it. Ah, yes, okay. So what we're gonna do is, here we go, get the eggs. Just gonna whip them up, same technique as last week. Basically just, you know, whip the fork, you can use a whisk, whatever. And you're just gonna whip the eggs up. It's pretty, pretty standard French toast making procedure, but, you know, I like to do it. You're using milk or water in yours? I'm gonna use milk. I think milk thickens it thickens everything. Water works, but milk's a lot uh, tastes a lot better. I like water. <laughs> All right. All right. So we got that. I'm gonna add some milk. Whole milk. Is this whole milk? Yeah. Yeah, but is. you're gonna have to. Open. Yeah. Okay. That's a. What do you mean? You make the mixture good. <laughs> All right. Take the milk. And then mix it in, same thing. Now we got a mixture of milk and eggs. And then I like to add a little cinnamon for flavor. After you put that the cinnamon, do you want to just pause and tell people the ingredients they need in case they didn't look it up ahead of time? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. This gives you some chance to do the egg, the French toast mixture. And there we go. Mix that in again, same technique. Just get it all good. And that's how I like my French toast mixture to look. That looks like proper French toast mixture. Okay. 
Okay. So, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a few potatoes. You can do, you know, two. Depends on the size of your family. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We're going to do three. One at the least. Um, we got an onion and some cloves of garlic. And then we've got uh, five eggs. So three for this and then two for the actual fried eggs. We've got Tabasco sauce, the best hot sauce. And you might want more eggs again if you're going to have to make it for more people. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I did white bread. White bread. Always do white bread. White I bread disagree. The best. Always use healthy bread. We, you butter of whatever kind. I like this earth balance. It's, it's not margarine. actually butter. It's yeah. margarine, but it tastes just like butter. And I just like, I like it more. And then um, some olive oil. Or, you know, canola oil, whatever you want to use. Vegetable oil. And then milk and cinnamon. Milk, cinnamon. And that's that. You had already had Tabasco sauce? Yeah. Okay. And it. then you need a spatula, a cutting board, and some and frying fork. pans. Knife and a fork for yeah. eating and a plate, of course. You don't need three frying pans. You could do it with just, uh, you know, okay. one over I'm going to flip us back around and set it up so you can... I want to make the French toast. Oh, we're going to make the French toast. Oh, I guess you're right. You're right. Yeah. I will prep the rest of the food. So next thing, I'm going to prep the rest of the food. You're going to prep it first? I'm going to prep the rest of it. I know. Can you see it? Yeah, I'm cutting. No, I thought maybe they could see you cutting. What do you mean? They okay. can't see how I'm cutting. Apparently my videography skills are flawed. Okay. okay. So, because you have to see how I cut the potato, it's important. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the ends off of each potato. I want to note that it's sunny out, so right as soon as you're done watching this. It won't be sunny out. Well, it depends on where you live, but in southern Vermont right now, it is sunny out, and it has been kind of a gloomy day all day. So, so first thing you're going to do, cut the potato in half like so. Then you take that half, and you're going to come at it at an angle from the side, like this, and cut through. Like would that. make it thin pieces if, I, if you want to get done quickly. Next thing you're going to do, cut another angle from the other side. And then also, cut one straight down the middle. And then, you might do one. Come, come on. up like this, and just, you know. And make, what are you doing so you don't cut your fingers? You make your hand into a C shape, and then glide along the top of your finger. So if you're on here watching, let us know how you're doing, you uh, what you've been doing lately. Give us some comments and let us know what has been uh, what has been your saving grace with your children or your families while you've been at home isolated or if you're an essential worker, what has been helping you with self-care. Uh, let us know. We're offering this. We'd love to know what else you got. Okay. And then do that. And then we got some more. I'm just going to do that with all the potatoes. It's going to take a second. So we're going to cut ends off again. This part's kind of gross and just don't really want to eat it. Then we're going to cut it in the middle, down the middle. Then making your hand to a C, it's the thing, and you're going to glide the knife along that part of your finger so you don't cut them, see? So like this, right in the middle, come at it from a diagonal. Flip it around, come at it from a diagonal from the other side, and then C shape and dice. I want to just add that the level of groceries we've gone through in this house during this pandemic has been uh, extreme, uh, and not because we're bored eating, but just because we don't eat a lot of our meals at home, usually. So, uh, I'm believe me, not bored. There's plenty to do. Ajna is doing his schoolwork um, for his senior year, finishing up. It's a little bit of a sad way to finish, but he is taking it like a champ. All right, last set. Down the middle. You should be active for this by now. It's not like super, you know, it's pretty user friendly, I think. And this is just how I like to do it to get the uh, like design down, you know, the look. I think part. You know, about half of eating food is that it looks good. I don't think that that's true. I think it's That may true. be what some people think, but ha most of what eating food is that it tastes good. No. Mm. The eyes make it more appealing. Mm. Like, you ever just looked at a good dog treat and been like, that's got to taste good? No, and I have never done that. <laughs> uh.
That's what I do, so. Oh, I'm sorry, people. I wish you wouldn't judge me. <laughs> All right. Okay, so he's prepped the potatoes. This is what they kind of look like after they're done. I would normally boil them and then fry them, but he does it a different way. So uh, either do this with us or you can just watch us do it and do it later. Um, and all this seems average, but it does change uh, actually over time. And I we did forget to say the gallon of maple syrup that we have with us. Oh, we use a gallon. Of ma we have carrot. We keep a gallon of syrup, maple syrup always. We go through it really fast. Yeah. I drink it in my tea every morning. And um, yeah, so yeah. get some maple syrup. It's great for you. Okay, I'm gonna start heating the pans. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do them all at a medium heat. There we go. All pans at a medium heat, just like that. And then, um, I guess we'll just kept keep prepping. Well, do you want to start the French toast and then you can keep it in the warmer after to do the other stuff? I mean, actually, you should start the potatoes. The potatoes will take a while. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna get cut this onion up first by gliding my knife along the shell. Huh, that's an interesting way. Do you do this at work? Oh, yeah. for those of you that don't know, Ajna is also a cook in addition to being a senior in high school. There we go. Let's see. It uh I'm a cook, but I can't right now because of quarantine. So this is all I get. A little bit of cooking with Ajna, my weekly cooking dose. Yeah. Why do you like cooking? It's kind of fun. It's a good job, you know? It feels like you know what you're doing. You can take it anywhere. It's the kind of thing if you're going to go into an arts career, you can learn how to do. <laughs> Are you going to an arts career? Music production and business. It's sometimes considered a Bachelor of Science, depending on where you get it. Or a Bachelor of Arts. So here he is this. He's going to cut the onion, which I do not do, do well with onions being cut, but here we have it. Um, and are you going to use a whole onion or just like half? Half, probably. Need a lot of onion. Do you want to put some oil in the pan while you're heating it up? Technically, you're supposed to get some. All right, so I'm going to put oil in this pan. So he has three pans ready to go. One for eggs, one for French toast, one for home fries. You could also do it with one plan, pan and do different things at once. We're also going to put, um, in case we need to put the French toast in the oven to stay warm, we're going to put it down, to, we're going to heat the oven to 200, which is what I do. Okay. I'm gonna dice the onions. Not really dice, but just kind of get some pieces. These aren't gonna be for consuming, just for flavor. I guess you can eat them if you want to. Here we go. I'm gonna take the onions and I'm gonna chuck them in the pan. In the pan, this one. So I think, are you gonna break those up a little? I mean, you don't really need to, do you? Yeah. You do. I don't think so. Just for flavor. No, because you'll eat them in the end. No, I won't. Just, I think this is, is this your first time making home fries? It's one of my first. I don't really like eating straight, straight onions, though. I don't know why you think I'm going to eat these when we're undone. I am. Okay. They're just going to be onions. They're delicious. Who out there, give me a thumbs up if you like onions and you're out there watching. You can get paper towels. Okay. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put this here for Ajna to keep working with you. Okay, okay I'm gonna butter the pans. So this one, I'm just gonna do it because I think that that's pretty good. So I'm gonna take a little bit of butter out of here. Mm, a little less than that, you know, just about that much. Put it in the pan. Let it melt. I'm gonna do that. And that's in the bigger pan, so then the smaller pan. I'm gonna do that much. That's for the French toast and the eggs. Um, and I'm just gonna let that butter spread out. Um, oil's good for like cooking stuff like 
you know, potatoes, but butter is really good for uh, different, you know, eggs and French toast and that kind of thing. So, now we got the butter in there. Um, we're gonna, we got the paper towels and we're gonna move on to getting some garlic in this pan. Or actually, I guess the first thing I'll do, so because the butter's in the pan, is I'm gonna I'll grab the camera now. Sure. I'm gonna take the bread, and we're gonna hmm, something just I don't know. I think it's oh, I can go in. Here, I lost my. Sorry, everyone. Okay, there you go. All right. So I'm gonna take the bread, and you're gonna simply soak it in here. Here the onions are going. He's soaking it in there. Now, if you were doing this for other people, you would definitely not want to touch any of it with your hands. You would want to be super cautious in how you were doing it and make sure your hands were washed, washed them probably several times during this. So, yeah. Um, so, uh, sorry, go ahead. So we're gonna take the bread, and we're just gonna put it in, drip it out a little bit, and then we're just gonna put it in the pan like so. You could marinate it more too, but um, sometimes that makes it break up more, so that's up to you. Okay, I'm gonna take the eggs, open them up into the pan. That's good, they're gonna be, okay. Oh no. What? You're not gonna, the, okay. Eggs should be done before. Way before, it's really cold. Normally you'd wait till the home fries are done some. It's a good. Okay, so uh, we can use another egg. We had a cooking fail. Woohoo! We'll just eat that egg separately. We separate. made that egg early. Yep. Yep. Okay. Right. <laughs> this is cooking. Make sure it's still at a low heat. It's important to just kind of, you want to cook it all the way through. What's going to happen yeah. otherwise is the middle is going to be soft and kind of wet. And that's not what you want. So we're going to get the garlic ready. So take the garlic out of here. We're going to peel it. And then to get the flavor out, take a knife. You could also use a knife over the peels to peel it easier. That's silly. <laughs> this is a hard piece of garlic. I gotta tell you, I don't know if it's gonna... There we go. Open it up. Put it in the pan. You don't want to cut it up? You're just doing it for flavor? Yeah, oh god. Okay. Of course I'm just doing it for flavor. Ajna doesn't love garlic. Or onions. I would have chopped up the garlic into small pieces and used it for that. We're definitely in disagreement about this breakfast, as I mentioned in the beginning. Cooking process and consumption. <laughs> like, if it should be eaten. Yeah, if it should be eaten is also a disagreement. I did just admit to eating dog treats today. <laughs> I feel like maybe I'm less... I don't think... Did you actually... I don't know. I have I, 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 All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, come on. All right, so I'm going to take the onions in here, and I'm going to... Okay, I'm just going to... And flipping we're around. Get that egg out of the pan. Yep. So we're flipping it back around. We're gonna get the egg out of the pan, and we're just gonna um, have this an is egg. A highly egg. fried egg. Okay, take it out. What do you mean? It's I fried both sides. Right. Oh, you're gonna have, no, no. It's, it's good. gonna it's pop. Good. It's done. No, it's good. There we go. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna turn that pan off for now. Yeah, that's a good idea. French toast is cooking. We're gonna flip it pretty soon. I think we're gonna get the potatoes in the pan now. So okay. So got here's this. All this. Yeah. Okay, well, no, it's, it's all cooked up. You need some, you need this. Oh yeah. It's sauteed. These are like kind of getting soft, so I'm gonna throw the potatoes in there. Just gonna do this by hand. But again, I'm gonna wear gloves if you're cooking for someone else. Um. So he has Ajna has these in here. You could do it with lots of oil, you can do it with less oil, you would might want salt and pepper. Um, we don't have any pepper, so we're just going to use salt. You're only allowed to order 12 things at once at our curbside pickup, so uh, we are making do. Do you want to use salt? Yes, I do. Got some onion under my nail. Ooh. I just got onion under his nail. He's going to put some salt in there. Woohoo! Okay. Same deal, mix these up a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna go through, we're gonna get the French toast flipped here. Pretty simple. You just, oh, 
got connected. Ajna is a French toast fiend. There we go. That's a good one. He loves it. And it's the first thing I learned how to cook. Oh. All right, so we've got the French toast. Yeah. Wait till you guys see this all piled on to itself. Um, I'm just going to go like this and put you here for a second. We can keep talking to you. Okay, so uh, I really want to know. I'm going to eat this egg and save it. Um, for being wasted. I really want to know what, what uh, you guys are all up to in your quarantine, What how you feel about the... Um, the COVID package nationally. Uh, what food is in your house right now that you would uh, be living on? Because it does feel like to go out less often means we end up sometimes with less food and sometimes with like a, what feels like a very big, huge abundance of food in our house. I love eggs, so I will eat them all the time. Happy to save this egg. Seriously. Wait till you see how what's, how this gets when it's piled on. All right, so on a second here, French toast should be soft, but just make sure it's not mushy in the middle. That means there's still raw egg in there. I mean, I've personally done a shot of raw egg, but it's not everyone's favorite. I don't know how many things he's gonna tell you that I wish he didn't do. It's good for you, especially if you have like an iron deficiency. Okay, so there, there we go. If, if, like now, the French toast is done ahead of time, you can just put it in the oven to stay warm. And I'm going to make a couple more pieces, actually. Yep, then you can just... Same deal. Soak the bread. Put it in the pan. It's all pretty much the same stuff. I'm just going to make some more so that can have a little extra. Ideally, you use up all your batter, but you don't have to. And then you just keep uh, stirring your potatoes. Well, the other thing about French toast is that if you make extra, it really is easy to freeze it and then use it or put it in the refrigerator and then use it. So I think a lot of people don't think to do that, but actually I've been doing that his whole life. And uh, it means that we can have French toast another day, and we just use up the bat. Make sure we use up the batter so we're not wasting any food because we really can't afford to. Sorry, my nail really hurts. Okay, yeah. So you're just gonna keep stirring. You're, they're gonna get browned. That's the idea. Just to brown all the sides of the potatoes, and then that's kind of when you know they're done. Um, and the, you know, the onions and stuff are going to get kind of reduced. They're going to be smaller, softer. Um, and the garlic, you're just going to want to pull out, especially how we did it. We just crushed it up and threw it in there as a whole clove. Uh, so I want to tell you where I think this started. I think that this started, um, Ajna was, we, we sometimes go to this diner. You probably want to flip that. It's probably warm enough. Right. It's not crunchy in there, so... Mm, I not, was ready. Not, no, it's not quite ready. Yes, it is. Um, so uh, we go to this diner, and Ajna kept ordering hash browns and not eating them, which irritated me. And one day he's like, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I think sounds good? I think it sounds good to basically make a French toast pile with eggs on top um, and eat it all together. And I was like, that does not sound good. It started actually... <laughs> somewhere between 10th and 11th grade and I ordered this um, uh, and then I so I did it um, uh, and I just ordered the eggs and the French toast French toast on top is eggs and then I just put Tabasco and maple syrup on top and I was like that's some damn good food and, you know, then the hash brown thing happened where I kept ordering hash browns and not eating them, so I said, I'll just put it all together into one big mess. All right, I'm going to pull these pieces out. Okay. So I'm going to put these in the oven with the other pieces. And we actually can just make a little bit more because we might as well use up the... If you want, I can do it. Nope. No. 
Uh, okay, so I'm gonna add a little more cinnamon to the batter because it's starting to get low on cinnamon. We want all pieces to be created equal. It's government stuff. Uh, you're telling me that when they wrote the Constitution, okay, I don't, I don't wanna... they weren't talking about French toast? They were not talking about French toast when they wrote the Constitution, my dear. And you're certain they were. <laughs> French toast did not originate in France. No. Pretty sure it's an American food. I don't know where American. It's gotta be. Examine all American foods and then add French, like McDonald's. That's a very American food. French toast fits in that category very well. Diners are just like hometown McDonald's. No, 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 no. No, diners are mom and pop shops, not anything like McDonald's. They're overly cooked, hush, hush. greasy food. They're delicious. And so delicious is Delicious food. I miss them so much. Do you guys miss diners? I consider diners an essential. He considers diners an essential? I mean, probably some people are getting, we're, I'm not, we're not getting to-go food. You should if you're comfortable with it. I'm not getting it. I'm not comfortable with it. Um, also, I think. Subway delivers now. For free. Also, I think, and also, also lots of your local local businesses, um, <laughs> who uh, mom and pop shops, Main Street stores are also doing delivery or curbside service. So do look at that. And also, if you're in need of help, or if you have, uh, or if you'd like to volunteer, and there is not somewhere for you to do that, or you're not comfortable with where there is, uh, you can go right to our website, brendaforvermont.com, to the mutual aid uh, page, the Vermont mutual mutual aid page and sign up and we'll either help you find the resources locally or the place to volunteer locally or we'll, uh, we will utilize you at, with the people that need help that are asking for us. So I am hoping that Jacob right now will put up in the comments the Vermont Mutual Aid site uh, on our website. Oh, Ajna is a big proponent of drinking emergency, but he's doing it in my water cup. Like. We're back on the emergency kick. Last episode, we also did emergency. It is good for you. Order some from Amazon before they... they Do not order some from Amazon because we actually don't shop on Amazon. Amazon did have a strike, I believe. Yep. So they are... Do not order from Amazon. There are lots of online spaces you can order where you'd be supporting a small business if you ordered from, from there. So we're just going to keep mixing up the potatoes. You want to make sure they don't stick to the bottom of the pan. One good way to get that out is just to use the back of the spatula and scrape them up and then mix them around. Like I'm gonna. My favorite thing is when people micromanage my cooking. Uh, yes, there we go. There's the uh, mutual aid. Uh, it, so you can go up and do there. Also, if you want to have updates about what we're doing uh, going forward, there's an events page. Feel free to join us on the events page. And uh, and we're going to put that up for you as well. No, it's not ready yet, is it? It's closed. That's going to burn if you don't take it up right away. Hey. It's already, I was already right about the last one. Hey. We use almost always cast iron pans in our it's house. It's too mushy. Um, we use almost all cast iron pans in our house, uh, which does make things hotter more quickly and sometimes hard to manage. Um, so, yep. I'm gonna add a little more salt to this. show you what the pile looks like so don't go away um, and then I right away try to rinse it because if I don't then 
I mean, I just saw my sink for the first time since this all started. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna flip this around. Actually, I'm gonna get some. Let me so you guys at, can see what we're doing. Can look at these potatoes. They're getting there. See, they're they're still kind of white. Sorry about that, friends. They're still kind of white, but they're they're getting browner, and really it's about kind of texture, and then you know, flavor. When you bite into them, you want to make sure you know every all those like the onions and stuff they soaked in, um, and that's that's what you're gonna be looking for. So I think we're pretty close though on this. Let them sit a little longer. Stop disturbing them. Let's see if this maybe still. If the pan gets too hot, you can turn it down. Um, if it's like what's happening is with these ones, what's happening a little bit is they're getting stiff on the outside but still soft on the inside. Don't want that. Um, Oz is doing pretty good at his first time as as the home fry. I mean, master. I've made potatoes before, like similar to this. So I feel like I know kind of where I'm going. I haven't made these home fries before. So we really want to hear from you. So if you go to the contact us form on the website, which you can find at the bottom of the footer menu, um, we want to hear from you about how you are doing, about how what is happening in your area. If there are resources we don't know about, you can see the resource list that we have on our website. If you just go to the mutual aid site and press, which is linked up above, and you just press um, the resources, you can see what we have access to, but we would love to hear from you about what resources are in your area that we may not yet know about. So I was just going to take a taste of this. Is it ready? Mm. Can I taste it? Yeah, go ahead. I'm still a little stiff on the outside. I, okay, I don't want to get that. No, it tastes good though. Okay, so put it here. Okay, I'm going to flip around. Okay, there we go. Ow, it's hot. It's yeah, hot. just put it in your mouth. No, you can't. don't want that. That's raw eggs on it. Okay. Mm. Oh, good. That's so hot. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> good though. Way too hot. Delicious. Way too hot. Okay, here we go. Yeah, a little bit of pepper would be that. That's the perfect ingredient for these. I keep. I'm sorry. I flip it twice every time. It has a delay. Um. So, yeah, a little bit of pepper would help. Now these, this can probably go into the... These are the kind of thing you might want to take and oh, dip, that's a little... dip some, uh, dip them into ketchup okay. if you don't put them on anything. So something I do that Ajna, I don't know if he agrees with, but I think is important, okay. is I put some water. You know, I'm supposed to soak cast iron in water, so that's why I just... But it works out. I have been using cast iron for a long time. I do this. I just pour some water right in there to help scrape it off, and then I use a uh, fry... Uh, spatula or something and scrape anything that's still on there so that I can just get it off while it's still there. I think um, I'm going to take these off this time. Before it's too hot. Okay. Alright, so you, a plate. Um, do you want to put them in a bowl and then you can sure. cook a lot? Um, okay. Is this, is this big enough? Yeah. Okay. okay. Right? Hold on. This is my favorite. If you're ever curious. Ooh, it's gonna be, ooh, I, it's, I can't. Okay. Put the thing down. Okay. <laughs> okay. So another thing um, that I want to tell you about that we're doing is on Thursdays. Grab that. Grab that. Chico. That's gonna break that metal. That. Well, I have to put blast. this in. Okay, but take that because we're gonna, we're gonna take the potato. Or it's gonna get. It's gonna fry. It. Can you take the potato up? Um. So on Thursdays, we do two things. We do a tea. Um, you're going to have to turn that off so that that stops. It is off. Um, no, the other one. Because it it's like smoking underneath. What do you mean? Um, anyways, there's a tea that we have at 2 o'clock. And it's I really want to get to know you all. So it's a tea on Thursdays at 2 on Zoom. And you can join us. So we will get you the link. And then also at 4 o'clock, and this was a huge success last week, and it's something we're definitely going to keep doing. At 4 o'clock on Thursdays, we are having a um, homeschooling parent support group. So please, it's really a support chat. Join us. 
express how hard it is, how frustrating it is, and be part of it with us. Um, so, I, as you can see, I'm a homeschooling parent too. This is definitely counts in my mind as homeschooling, okay. uh, and we're really excited about it. Um, yeah. Fry one so egg. now we're making the eggs. I'm gonna go fry another one. We're getting another egg, an extra egg, because of the earlier egg mishap that we had. Came out a little early. Okay. So here we go. There. Fudge. Oh no, that was not how it's done. There we go. You guys, this is not as smooth a cooking expedition as last week. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, so those are frying up. Um, this. We're gonna wait. I guess. I mean, that's sort of it's a waiting game. The fried egg only take a minute. Where's the cat? Okay, so as you can see, this what was once a beautiful pile of stuff is a mess now. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost at the pile. We're gonna put this down. We're gonna get the French toast out. Let's put like two on. Two plates? Well, I guess just one plate's fine. Okay. Okay. I just want you all to know that I have these plates in college. I still have two of them. One of them. Excuse me. Everything in the bite says Ajna. Okay, it's not easy to do at the same time as you. It kind of falls apart once yeah, you start not, to this is not go working. into it. It's not like a, well, it's okay. Um, it's supposed to fall apart. I know, but how do you get it all in the one bite? You just kind of cut and pick. Okay. Now we're gonna cheers. Once this is you... not gonna. Okay. Ready? I, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Go for uh, it. I think I. I think I got rid of the egg, babe. Mm, mm, mm. No. That's perfect. 
every time. Mm -mm. It's so good. <laughs> you can't say you don't like it. Mm. It has an interesting flavor. It's um, solid. Yeah. So, I'm just going to clean off a pan because this pan has some stuff. It's easier to do it while it's still going. Oh, the other part of the breakfast galore. Oh, yeah. Some orange juice. Yep. So Ajna is a big orange juice drinker. We've already gone through two half gallons of orange juice. That's a whole gallon. That's a whole gallon. We've gone through a gallon of orange juice. And it was in like three days. In, in the three days. Yeah, we didn't have it the whole quarantine time. Um, oh, on other news, we, we should, actually are free. We should start marking that. Yeah. We're actually free, um, not... Not, not free from isolation, but free from actual quarantine, which we were in for 14 days um, because I had a cold. So, yeah. So, the other thing um, that is really exciting is we're doing all these events and we need contributions. Need more so, if you can donate, that would be excellent. We know it's hard times for a lot of people. We're not doing phone calls, but we do need contributions. And so, um, today we're asking people to just donate five dollars um, and help us continue these. Um, there's a lot of wind outside. So thanks so much. And next up right now, once I guess we're still eating this. That's a little more. It should have been in two plates because this is not a thing. Or like I should be over there because huh? I'm left-handed. This is like not working. So look at this. We're trying to eat together. Oh, we should switch places. Yeah. So I don't know why you're turning around. Because oh, this is my egg. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Mm-hmm. No, this, I don't know if people watching us eat that way. It's like, or especially you. It's so good. Like, Ajna, when he eats, he goes, mm, mm. I've never made this at home. Mm, mm. But it's better he's, at home. He's never, he's done that his whole life since he was a little kid. This is so good. Mm. <laughs> Mm. It was <laughs> that's not an mm mm, that's an mm. No, he does it like involuntarily, even when he tries to stop. He goes, mm mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. And she can't deny she likes it a little bit. I don't love it. Um. <laughs> the weirdest part of the whole flavor is the egg yolk mixed with the maple syrup. I think the weirdest part for me is the Tabasco sauce mixed with the maple syrup. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, I am hungry, so... We should start marking orange juice on this list. We do have a list of what we've gone through. We have gone through... I was just going to tell me. Hold on. We have gone through... Three cartons of eggs. Five gallons of milk. No, five half gallons. So, so two and a half gallons of milk. Three box, Four boxes of pasta. And 15 loads of dishes. 16 loads of dishes. 16. Oh, yeah. 16 loads, and this will be on to our 17th right now. Which orange juice is mine? Uh, the one on the left. We use mason jars in our house to drink out of. We also have these made by Bob Birch um, in Putney. He's an artist. Uh, so we have several different ones. Super... We have a really eclectic collection of like dishes and silverware. Yeah. So in just a second, I'm going to teach you how to make a milkshake without a blender. Are you hoping it brings all the boys to the yard? Ajna, that was definitely not. It's a thing. song. I know, but Aj, no. Ajna, no. I know the song. I know the song, but no, I'm not hoping that. No. <laughs> yes. Ajna. Seriously. He did so well in the first one, I thought we could do two now. Um, let's see. What time is it? I was looking for your phone. Can you tell me what time it is? 4.45. Okay. So, 4.45, we are going to make a milkshake now, and we are going to make a vanilla milkshake. With what? Vanilla ice cream that we got today. You got vanilla ice cream? Mm -hmm. You had every ice cream possible. Now, I know we've already had maple syrup, so it's a little bit much to be making a milkshake. As it's a little bit much making a vanilla milkshake. <laughs> I think we still have chocolate ice cream. I'm making a vanilla milkshake. So. That's 
you may make yourself a different one later. It just tastes worse. It's like I don't. Okay, I just ate eggs with tobacco with maple syrup and tobacco sauce on it, so. <laughs> Ajna. Well, what happened was. The cup fell, but it just broke a different bowl. It didn't break the cup. Yeah, it was very sad, actually. Um, the shelf fell down in our house. And then dropped a cup. So, anyways, we have an immersion blender here. We're going to deal with that later. I definitely can't eat those home fries. I know. Um, I'm so disappointed. Uh, it is so disappointing. Um, <laughs> I wish it was not the case, but we can't. Um, so, yeah, uh, here we go. Yeah, really, can you move out of my space? It's not really without a blender. It is an immersion blender. It's still a blender. Okay, here you go. You want me you to take, take that and yes. eat the rest of it? Yep, you can eat the rest. I'm super full. Okay, here we go. We're going to make a... This is my immersion blender. If you have one, use it. You could use a whisk. We have done that before. Or an actual blender. Or an actual blender. I'm very sad about this bowl. It was one of my favorite bowls. And I'm also very annoyed that... My cupboard just fell down. Well, that cupboard's been breaking for a while. I know, but it like totally fell down and broke every other things along with it. Um, well, I think it all broke the bowl. Well, okay, wow. excuse me. Yeah, I don't want to. I wouldn't. Well, I wouldn't deal with that right now. I know. That's what I'm, I just want to move the glass out of the way. I'm probably gonna. This is what happened. In case you guys were wondering, I'm probably going to. Uh, Try to put the bowl back together because it was a bowl that I loved. I have cracks so, in it, though. That's okay. That's life has cracks in it. It's okay. Yeah, but soup won't sit in a bowl with cracks in that's it. That's not really a soup bowl. Could be. Okay. So today we got this is my favorite brand of ice cream, but it is not cheap, and so I don't know if I recommend it. And she got it in vanilla, so I spent all that money on. I love vanilla. Um, so this is my vanilla ice cream. I... So, do you guys have teenagers that when something breaks in the in the house, they laugh? I laughed at the situation that the cup didn't break, but okay. the bowl broke. This is the best brand of ice cream, though. It is the best brand, Alden's. Worth getting it in mint chocolate chip, chocolate, cookie dough. We love it. How many other flavors well, are there? Well, besides Ben and Jerry's, which of course we love, and we love a, we love a lot of different ones actually. I love seeing Ben and Jerry's pop up in like other states and countries. Like when I was in the UK, we saw Ben and Jerry's machine, and we were like, "Oh my God, that's from us." That is really cool. It's all because it's a great um, little state. Hope we have. Oh, we do. It's here. Okay, I was looking for my ice cream scoop. We have an Here's ice cream, ice cream scoop? scoop. We have a couple of ice cream scoops. Since when? I've been scooping ice cream with a spoon for the past eight years. Okay, I don't know why that is. Okay, so it's super soft because I did curbside pickup and I did it just before we started here. So here's the ice cream. So here's what I do. I put. I'm gonna put a couple scoops in because even though I was complaining about it being vanilla, I bet she's gonna drink some of it. I am gonna drink some of it, but I wish it wasn't vanilla. So I'm gonna put three full scoops. I think. Just have a small milkshake because we've already had a bunch of sugary stuff. Okay. Is that enough? Yep. Okay. It's also vanilla bean ice cream, which I love. love. Put milk okay. and salt in there. Then we're salt? Yeah. That way it'll instantly curdle. Gross. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Now we're going to use our Stonyfield Farm milk. Whole milk. Right here. The superior there we go. Milk. We're gonna use that much to start off with and just see how it goes. Um, cleaning up while you go is actually a really great idea because then you will not have the mess that we are gonna have at the end of this. We also have to put a bowl back together in the end of this. So I used a giant mason jar that I often use to drink water. And I literally am just putting this right in here and I have to do it really gently because otherwise, I almost just pressed the wrong thing. Otherwise it will sprout out everywhere and it still might. Oh, it's not plugged in. <laughs> um, so plug in your. You do have to plunder. plug in the immersion blender. This is super quick. So if you're like, I want to make milkshake something special for like kids at home, um, this is a great thing to do. So Especially I do it super if you do gently. Not vanilla ice cream. <laughs> so the beauty of live is that. When something breaks on camera, it breaks on camera. 
So see how that took hardly any time. This is a very, not at the thickest of them, um, but you can see. Can you see, can you look it over in here? Yeah, you can see the inside. It's like very delicious looking milkshake. Um, you could add a little maple syrup and make it a maple milkshake, but I think we've just had a huge amount of maple, so we don't need that. Um, what do you think, Ajna? Yeah, probably not. Okay. No, we should do that. What? Use metal straws. Oh, but we're not going to use the same straws during this pandemic. That's two straws. Okay, we have metal straws that we use. Okay. Uh, now we're going to flip it around. I'm not going to whip cream. Oh, we can whip cream. Oh, let's, so, let's do our own. Let's do our own cups. No, well, that's fine. It's easier. It's going to be weird. It um, won't okay. be weird. It'll be a good picture. Oh, I don't want to open that again. I'm um, okay. So here we go. Flip, can you flip it around and put it down? Okay, grab whipped cream. Okay, we happen to have some whipped cream. We often make homemade whipped cream in our house, but I can't believe we broke something on camera. I mean, come on. So once again, visit the other events we're doing. We do on Sunday, we have a uh, overdose crisis. It's not on our website yet, but it will be very soon. An overdose um, oh. crisis. I'm gonna give you this one. This, this was not a huge amount. We just made tiny amounts. That's Ajna's. After all the complaining, he wanted the bigger one. No, I didn't. I um, normally just put them evenly. Okay. And then we actually put whipped cream in it, which we don't always do. Tons of whipped cream. Nice we also make homemade whipped cream a lot. Um, so yeah, overdose crisis with Keisha Rahm. Um, uh, an opioid epidemic. How do we heal it? Uh, and there will be some other speakers as well there. Um, but people who have been working on this crisis for a while or have uh, other... Uh, things that they know about it and that will be Sunday this coming Sunday at 7 uh, in, from 7 to 9 and if you happen to be in Bennington um, on Saturday from Bennington we're having a, a community conversation in Bennington on Saturday we're going to just give you a little it's good for vanilla mm. Strawberry milkshakes. This is my favorite part of this meal. And you know what I love about metal straws? They get super cold while you're... Yeah, and also they don't break. You know when you're... And also they're better for the environment. They don't buckle. Also, there's a climate crisis. Even they're more enjoyable. I used to roll up to Dunkin' Donuts and they'd be like, here's your straw. I'd be like, no, that's okay. And then I'd put it in and then I'd kind of get picked on at work. But it was all good. <laughs> my manager kind of... But he was doing what's good for the... I know. My manager, he goes, saving the world one straw at a time. It's like, I kind of like the metal straw better anyway. We also have, um, oh no, we don't. And most of these come with a straw cleaning clip. Mm -hmm. Easy, done. The metal straw, we have, let's see if it's not as clean as it could be right now, but we have a cleaning kit, so it just goes right in there and cleans the straw. So when you buy if it straw, doesn't come with it, you can buy it. Usually comes with it. Anyways, coming up Thursday, afternoon tea with Brenda, Thursday afternoon, and that's at two, at four, there's a homeschooling support group. We are doing community conversations all across the state. So if you are from a town that we have not, that you don't think we've reached out to or in a town where you'd like to have a community conversation, please go ahead and uh, reach out to us at info at brendafrivermont.com and we will make sure that we uh, get together and have a community conversation with you. We also have a small business round table coming up. So we would love to hear from the small businesses around the state about what's needed, not just within this crisis, but beyond. Uh, so there's that. Uh, and then we have um, the overdose crisis roundtable on Sunday at seven from seven to nine, and then we have all kinds of events coming up throughout for for the weeks to come. I will you stop swearing? <laughs> and we're really excited about it. Uh, so check out our events, sign up to come, and we have phone calls happening right now. We have phone calls happening tonight, 5.30, Thursday, 5.30, and uh, and throughout the entire weekend or any time of day that you're able to, our field director will work with you. Thanks so much, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.